Greetings, my friends, and welcome to Minute with Mark, live from Hoverson Leadership International Headquarters, which is my office today. I want to talk about one thing, which I think is probably the one of the greatest skills of top performers. And we're going to walk outside real quick. I always dreamed years ago when I was in the mobile home that we would have a baby grand piano. And there it sits. There it sits. And there's my dream wife, too. Honey, wave. Hello. Working magic. Um, you know what? We believe in functional art. So let me give you a little sidebar. I'll do a video on this another time. But versus a painting, I thought, you know what? Instead of a painting right there, let's put a dartboard that's like, those are all wine corks. So it's kind of interesting. So it's functional art. It's the same concept with like the guitar hanging on the wall. It just, I don't know, it seems cooler to me than just a painting. But anyway, top performing I want to talk about today is the bias for immediate imperfect action. So let me explain. That's where we eat a lot of breakfast. Chilling out. So I'm reading a book right now that I'm not, I'm not giving my full recommendation on, but it's called To Change the World. Um, specifically, it's a Christian book, and I'm not sure I, I vibe on the whole book, but it does talk about 11 propositions of how to change the world, and they're pretty heady. The, the book was published by Oxford Press, which is a very, you know, gritty, it's not like a cheap publishing house. It's a very wise, you know, strategic, academic publishing house, so it caught my attention, but let me give you an example of what I do to create culture in my own little sphere of influence, which happens to be online and, you know, wherever it is. So I look at something and proposition seven, or sorry, seven propositions to change culture. So one is, it says proposition one, culture is a system of truth claims and moral obligations. So you read this thing and it's academic. It's kind of boring. It's not like self-help or anything, but it's basically saying that a culture basically teaches what is good. But then it says that what is good in terms of right and wrong, the human mind doesn't work very well. So if you want to teach what is good, do it in story form. So what I wrote right here is I put story first, then the why behind whatever we're teaching people to do is good, and then exactly what to do. So let's take the $100 bill example, which I've shared in the past, where people keep a $100 bill on the outside of, you know, it's the first bill they see when they look in their purse or their wallet or whatever. I set that up through a story of a kid I was mentoring who was always spending all the money he got. So I gave him a hundred dollar bill and I said, learn to temper and tame your impulse to spend every penny you have. So I start with the story there and then I say what will happen at the end of 90 days is you'll have that hundred dollars and you'll realize you can tame that inner beast that says, spend me, spend me, spend me. And it's like the start of money mastery. So that's why it's good. And then I tell them exactly what to do. So here's what you do. Go to the bank, whatever, get a hundred dollar bill and hold it for 90 days to begin the culture. So this is just an example of reading, reading ideas and not, and just thinking immediately, how do I implement this idea? If it's a good idea, how do I implement it immediately into my life? Like immediately. There's seven other, pro there's six other propositions and maybe I'll spend a minute with Mark on how I'm integrating them immediately into the cultures that we're building online. For instance, one of them is that cultures are built through physical artifacts and the creation and output of artifacts. So when we look at like the Solomon CEO and that quality conveys credibility, um, you know, this, these things are handcrafted in Maine. And I had a, a freelance designer from Disney create the logo and perfect it and then did a white labeling of these really classy heirloom quality journals. And that was all deliberate to convey credibility to spread the culture and the vision of what I'm personally involved in. So these are just thoughts, um, but to put a bow tie on this, man, this was longer than a minute, but to put a bow tie on this, 
the idea is immediate action. When you see an idea, you think to yourself, how can I integrate this idea immediately in whatever form, just even as a seed form, into my business, into my life right away? All right, Mark Overson, peace. Oh, my God.